Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. So I don't have anything totally finished to show you, but I kind of wanted to show you what I was um, finishing up today. Um, I'm running out of daylight, so I thought I should film what I've, what I've got done. Um, I am working on this small journal, and as you can see, it has a gorgeous, like a marbled paper on the front and the back. A little filled notes tab and what this is containing the subject theme is ferns and so a friend of mine um, named Hallie you guys might some of you might know Hallie um, she has been uh, compiling a digi kit well the beginning of a series of a di of digi kits about ferns and I happen to be a fernaholic so I said can I use your kit and um, she graciously acquiesced so so here we are so she's she's doing some neat things I will put the links down in the description box below she's gonna be able to explain it a lot better than I can but she's using um, a really cool technique to get some eco transfers so so maybe you guys will dig that as much as I did um, yeah so I love the green the, the ferny green and she's going to be having kits with all kinds of things in them um, in this book you're going to see more than what is in her first kit but um, yeah it just shows you what what is to come right so this is one of the pages from the first kit and I used it as end pages and so I I just printed them bigger. I have a, a, a Canon printer that will print 12 by 12 or 11 by 17 and that's borderless. So, you know, kind of rocks my world, right? So what I did was I just made the image bigger and I printed it um, to be um, big enough to be the end papers for this book. If the books were, if I made a smaller book, I wouldn't have needed to do that, but 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 I didn't. And I thought it was really pretty, and I thought it was just perfect for end papers. And then some of the things that I've been doing are some. Do you remember? Do you remember? Been a week or two ago, my hands were just like disgusting and gross, and I told you I've been playing with ink. Well. As you can see, I've been um, I've been staining some papers in some different ways. So this is going to be total grunge, and it's going to give you a sneak peek into um, the Serafina journal. That's it's almost done. So here is one of the transfer images. This one I just printed on this page. I will show you though. There's just some neat, some really neat fern images. So this is one of them, and. And you print it out and then you dip it in water and it will um, well I'll have her tell you how to do it <laughs> uh, just go over there follow the link if you want to see what she does um, but even just printing them and then wetting down the paper do you see how it will go through and make this almost like a ghosted image on the back which I think is you know kind of kind of a neat looking effect just on its own that way and I put some quotes. I mean, we're talking some super grunge here. I really like the the gold with the greens and a little bit of brown, and it goes well with a botanical style book. Um, this is an envelope that I'm going to be turning into a raggedy. It's just, well, I guess I should leave it in there. It's just taking its little, its little spot more ferns. The whole book is just all, it's all ferns. All ferns all the time. And poems. You know, I like poems too. So here's something else that will be coming up soon and it's fern specimens. There's another one of the images from the kit for the transfer. There's an old uh, textbook image of the parts of a fern and kind of, kind of cool looking. That'll be coming up soon as well. Another image there, another specimen on this side. Here's one of the transfer images. Kind of all, 
all diffused and muted and barely there. I like that. Here's another poem. Here's another one of the images from the kit. Some specimens. There is a poem, well, a quote from John Muir. And then this is a page um, that I I had printed on, but I'm just I had decided to turn it into the beginnings of a folder raggedy. So um, this one is the beginnings of a little a little insert folder raggedy. And what I'm doing with this one, and I'll show you when I'm totally finished. I'll show you what you know what it looks like. But you don't have to sew on a raggedy and it can still look really, really, really cool. There's all kinds of things that you can do um, and not sew on them to make them look, you know, kind of kind of cool. So that's what we're going to be doing. Well, it's one of the things I'm going to be adding. So hopefully you will like that. Another one of those transfer images. And a specimen. That's one of my images. It's, it's a Virginia Creeper. They're my favorite, so just forget it's in there. <laughs> I just thought it looked cool on the green khaki colored pages. There's another specimen there. And there you can see on this one another little teeny tiny little bit of a transfer there. And this is something I'm going to be showing you soon. This is just a, a, a reference ephemera page that I made, but the, the paper that it's on is a little different from anything I've used before, and I wanted to test it out before I, you know, said anything about it because I didn't want to, you know, say anything and then have it, you know, be an epic fail, right? So anyway, it turned out really well, and it's like the deli paper, but different and cheaper so I will um, I will have more details on this as well I think you will I think you will like that there is another quote there so I just like to fold these up kind of kind of messy and then that way a little of it sticks out the bottom a little of it sticks out the top and it kind of becomes its own little raggedy piece to add you know some extra fun stuff. There's another specimen, gorgeous. I love ferns. I love everything about ferns. Every time I put one outside though, like usually in late spring, I'll go get one because they have them at our grocery store that's close to me for like 12 bucks and they're like these massive, you know, ferns, right? But as soon as I hang one up, <laughs> Um, a wren or a finch will, you know, make a nest in it. So, you know, and then I have to be really, really careful about how I, um, how I uh, water it so I don't, you know, douse the babies. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. I like seeing the babies. And then here is the back end paper. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So, like I said, I'm not totally, totally done with this book yet. I will be done soon. Um, I will show that with the, um, when I get done with this one and the Serafina journal that I just, I just need to finish that one up. And then I have two more. So we'll just, we'll have a little flip through extravaganza. Um, the sale is going on right now at Etsy and Teachable. Um, no coupon codes needed. Uh, I went in there and just changed the prices. At Etsy, it's really easy because you can just do like a blanket sale. Um, at Teachable, I have to go in there and manually do each one, but I didn't want you guys to have to mess with a coupon code. It's just one more thing that, you know, I didn't want you to have to mess with. So, so it's, they are discounted, ready to rock and roll until midnight, uh, Monday night. You know, the end of Monday, all of Monday. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Um, I will be doing screen printing soon. So we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun with that too. And um, yeah, it is Friday and you know, it's gonna be a busy week. I hope everybody has a 
has a great weekend and um, I will see you guys really, really, really soon. And um, yeah, if you want to check out um, what Hallie's doing with ferns, like I said, description box. She's also got a story. So like a whole story is going along. It's, it's you know, you know how I am with stories. So I'm a sucker for stories. And ferns, well, it was kind of, you know, it was made to be. So I hope everybody, again, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you guys really soon in the next video. Bye guys.